Yo, what's up guys, welcome. Recently there has been full of amazing and surprising AI projects for graphics, showing us the power of creative generations from image to videos and 3 models. Really exciting. Today let's talk about one of them, the Lucid Dreamer, a Gaussian splatting-based method for 3 scene generation from Korea Seoul National University. Gaussian splatting is a technique using a fast approximation of the radiance field, which allows for real-time rendering with high fidelity. Compared to NERF, another state-of-the-art technique, it improves both the efficiency and quality. While Lucid Dreamer integrates stable diffusion in painting or outpainting, monocular depth estimation and Gaussian splatting, to create realistic and diverse three scenes from just one picture and one single text prompt. Anyway, look at these results. Amazing, right? That's enough. Let me walk you through the workflow and some demos, and later about how to install it locally. Okay, first use our very familiar SD Web UI to create the input picture. Lucid Dreamer package provides four stable diffusion models, so we can choose either one here. Just now I used Realistic Vision V5.1 for that house in mountains. So now we change to real cartoon Pixar V5. Select 1024 by 1024 here. And enable a detailer for a better face. Then click generate. Done. Let's use this one as reference input. Go to Lucid Dreamer Gradio interface. There are different regions but easy to get familiar with. Make sure check don't here if you are going to generate your own video instead of project examples. Then let's drop the picture we just got from SD Web UI and change the diffusion model to real cartoon, Pixar V5. Copy the positive and negative prompts here. I delete the text describing the person to avoid that outpainting creates more figures. Then we can choose look around, look down, and rotate 360. Just leave the first one here. I also copy the same seed number and use 50 in painting steps. OK, click step 1 to generate PLY file which includes the point cloud to reconstruct the 3 scene. The dreaming process doesn't take long time, but need to wait for the aligning process. There are some bugs when I tested it for saving files, please check later installation for details. I will skip the remaining. OK, GSplat PLY file has been created. Let's use the super splat suggested in the web page to visualize the point cloud. Simply drag the PLY file in. Here it is. Let's do some adjustments and zoom in. Wow, good job. Outpainting created more content along the depth. This is a smart idea. While some defects here, maybe the shadow was identified to be the background far away, but in total pretty good. We can go back to render the videos. There are three camera trajectory presets. To save time, here they are. OK, that covers all the workflow. Next let's talk about the installation. I used Python 3.10 and didn't have Conda. First follow the instruction on this web page to install CUDA Toolkit and Visual Studio Community version. I installed 2022 before. For CUDA, be sure to install version 11.8. I tried 12.3, it can be compiled successfully, however running will cause integer type error. If you have already installed 12.3 and don't want to uninstall it, no worries, it's just ok to have multiple CUDA versions. Just go ahead to install 11.8 and change the system environment CUDA variable back to 12.3, so it won't affect other programs. Additionally, let's create the virtual environment. Then specify Lucid Dreamer to use CUDA 11.8 to compile. Depending on how you call the virtual environment, bat file for example, just add these at the beginning of the file. Then enter the environment, simply check if it works, should work. Next, for the PyTorch with CUDA packages, you can install again here. But if you want to save some space, just use Windows symbolic links. For example, I have installed Torch plus CUDA. 118, Torch Audio and Torch Vision in my comfy UI virtual environment, open CMD window as administrator, and type these in. 
It will create symbolic link folder like this in the Lucid Dreamer. Then, copy the Torch Audio, Torch Vision, Torch Gen, and Info folders to Lucid folder. That's all. Saved 4.6 GB. If you successfully finished above steps, congratulations! The prerequisite is the most complicated part. Next, just follow the web page, you should go through without issues. Just run these commands one by one. All done. Each time just call the virtual environment and run app python file. Or simply create this bat file and double click to run. Alright we're almost done. But I have a few more things to say. If you met with saving issue, as described here, create outputs folder in the lucid dreamer. And change the default save dir and lucid dreamer.py to your installed path. There's nothing worse than running a long code and getting an error at the end because it can't save the results. Another thing to mention is to rename the gsplat fly file each time before you run next one. I got error it doesn't overwrite. Okay, so much for today. The command texts will be shared below. Thanks for watching and have fun.